a din I had it from Mofrano. Whom did she? It guides the child in their lives. But this is why I am here this morning. So, two days ago, I, two days ago or three days ago, no, Sunday, yes, Sunday, Sunday, I was asleep. I woke up at dawn. When I woke up, the first message I saw was the message from the director of the cyber units of the CID. In fact, me wako kudru bebre. But as, as, at that time, the frame of mind that I was, when I saw the message, I was scared. Because the first time I had a relapse, I don't even know what to call it again, whether it's a relapse, whether it's a prophetic message. But the last time I spoke about Sewa Mihe, Sami Woku, A+, Gifty, all those people, I had a message for them. The last time I spoke about it, I was called to the CID headquarters. That a complaint has been lodged against me for offensive conduct, something like that. You know, the law terms. And when I got there, I, I had so much pain inside me. I'm like, ah, what is this thing that comes over me? Whether it's bipolar, whether it's rich, or whether it's bad behavior, or whether I'm just a disrespectful person. Right now, I don't, sometimes I don't even know how to define it. Because you have to think of all possible explanations. So when I saw that message, at that time of the day, at dawn, I was scared. I panicked. I felt helpless. Me Beauty is vanity. Even if I know any minister or I know any police or there are rights or there are laws in the land. Do the laws and rights do they even work for people like me? Do they work for people like me? Somebody who doesn't have any father, mother, as a politician. Do the laws and rights, do they work for me? Do the laws and rights of Ghana, do they work for the vulnerable? Because I am scared because in the past, I have been locked up in the hospital before. Against my will, injected with things that made me an imbecile. Share me and me do not have a fair fee. There's been a time where I had, I said things. I was taken to the hospital. I was injected with things. Metiwana mitia chiasi. So I am scared. I have so many traumatic experiences. And people just focus on, let's see how we can shut up. Let's see how we can keep her off the media. The last time I went for an interview at UTV, what did Councillor Lucho say? Bipolar people are not, I should not be allowed to be on radio or TV. That is the society we live in. We don't learn how to live with people. When people would say anything that, when we can't control and manipulate people, we want to shut them up. That is why we have prison. That is why we have psychiatric hospital. That is why we have money. Me, nobody has paid me. The CID, BNI, FBI, people can look at, you know, there's forensic, there's forensic analysis of things. They can check my bank accounts, everything. Me and me say, hey, I don't have a car. I don't need one. I can live my life without one. When God's time is the best, or when I work hard, I can make money and buy a car. But a car is not a necessity in life. You don't need a car to go to heaven. You don't need a car to breathe. A car is just a luxury. What do they the 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 monks do the monks live a simple life they live in the mountains in this world when you realize that all these things are material things all is vanity 
you cannot be easily persuaded and manipulated. There was a point in my life I was looking for education. So whatever I have to do that I will get education, I will do. A point in my life I was looking for money. Whatever I will do to get money, I will do it. Nowadays, I'm not looking for anything materialistic. All I need is my peace of mind. All I need is the ability for me to heal so that I will not be always attacking people that I, 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 I know have hurt me. If I call you, if you see somebody, like Anope Mashe Kente, Obi Bel Kasente, hey, Abna Koko Kente, they're not stylish like, it's not stylish like Sima Bru Kente or uh, this person's Kente. Or the person who's, oh, Kwame, no man ever want to purchase a circle. You see, you might think you might be giving me a compliment, but you might have hurt me. All these people today, I stand on this platform and I say, all the people that I talk about, it's either they have hurt me and I'm traumatized by the, what they did, or somebody has come to me to say something about them. One thing I thank God for is I'm not a liar. Because I speak the truth, when I speak it, I am free. When I feel somebody is trying to manipulate me, you see why this thing hasn't stopped? Because people have hurt me. There are men who told me I am worth nothing. All I'm worth is my vagina. There are people that have told me, you, the way you are beautiful, if you use your intelligence, you won't go far. So use your beauty and your vagina. Do you understand? Let's be careful of the words we say to people. There are some people that I know that they know when I speak, they know the message I have for them. They may get angry, but when they sit down alone, they get the message. And then people around them will come to me. Oh, 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 say messi ni buefu. Oh, say messi ni buefu. As a human being, as a living organism, when I'm attacked, I will defend myself. I have realized nobody can defend me like God or I will defend myself. At first, I left my destiny in the hands of people. I will do something to someone and I'll say that Pachokoka Asemi Tre will be. The messenger can twist their message. You see the way the word of God is there. And there are a lot of men of God who have manipulated the word to serve their own purpose. Everybody, whatever you are doing, you will get your, your whatever you reap, you will sow. There's the word, there's the constitution. There's the word of God. There are the forces and principality that also guide the universe. So in whatever you are doing, be careful. Because we are seeing a Naoka. Now, let me come to the main reason why I came. So, the director of the cyber unit of CID, yesterday I went to the, to, I, 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 I obeyed to his call and I went to see him. One person, which you already know, has filed a case against me for offensive conduct. That, um, the statement I made about the threat of my life. He ha has nothing to do with it. But somebody gave me that information. So I, I am working with the information I received. And in this case, it's a matter of life and death. Nobody will protect your life like you would. So out of fear, out of panic, just because I want to go and have a conversation with a fellow woman, just because I want to have a conversation with a fellow woman, and just because a lot of people will know the truth, because I speak nothing but the, the truth, everybody thinks about themselves. Nipa na wasuma ne se onke bi ma ono ori dream ni mo first. And to be careful the people you talk to, because some of us we are real, we are true to ourselves, so we can read in between the lines. So this morning, I render, let me say, uh, I won't call it an apology, 
but it was not according to the laws of the land. I acted out of fear and frustration, but according to the constitution, I'm a Ghanaian to so have to live according to, once you are in Rome, you do what the Romans do. According to the constitution, if you have a private conversation with someone and you don't have the permission of the person and you post it on social media, you have committed a crime. Me, as I'm sitting here, prison, I've been to prison already. I'm not scared of prison. Like when I don't know what I fear, you know, the only thing I fear is God. So he says he doesn't want to foul uh, he actually filed a case against me for invasion of his privacy, for disclosing his identity, for exposing his family. He even had an issue with his wife, all that. Because his wife went to ask him, and I have not gone in under that now. Since you have not gone here, Bonidinia is like, your husband or whatever has to ask you, have you slept? I have not slept with Dr. Yangson. The only thing I have, I, this, this, yesterday was the second time I was meeting him. And it was because people have filed cases against me. Yesterday, 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 people claim I'm having bipolar relapse. People claim I've been paid to do things. Yesterday, I'm, I'm trying to listen to advice. As much as I am trying to do what I've been destined to do. They said, you are not stable. My therapist said, I'm not stable. Or one therapist that guides me says I'm not stable because the rate at which I'm posting on social media means I'm not stable. If I were, t if I was a media house, if I was a media house, and I am posting media houses and bloggers, they post like crazy. A day they can post like hundred. Nobody has said they have bipolar, but because they are a media house, they are entitled to it. I watched the video recently. They said, you know, big companies, rich people, like people that feel the universe is for them. They don't like to see individuals own anything because they, when, when, when people own things for themselves, you cannot control them. You see, parents control children with, I won't pay your school fees. I won't give you clothes to wear. You know, everybody is manipulating someone. Be careful of the manipulations you, how you treat a person because whatever you give out, it will come back to you. And you see women, men that are married, you see women, eh? When you give a woman a sperm, she will give you a child. When whatever you give a woman, it will multiply. So be careful what you give a woman. If you give a woman disrespect, that disrespect will double up, triple. You see, you just give a woman a spend. But when you take a human being, it is a million, a billion, a trillion of cells. So people that are disrespecting me, people that have taken me to altars, people that are destroying my name, whatever you are doing, it will multiply. Because... I am true to myself. God loves me and he fights for me. I know I don't wrestle against normal people. So I go on my knees and I pray. I go on my knees and I pray. Forget about me coming to show you dildo. I am a prayerful woman. I am an intelligent woman. My mother was a teacher and she didn't teach me anything. She told me knowledge is power. You see this book here, a lot of politicians, a lot of people in power, a lot of husbands, anybody with leadership position or any human being, you need to read this book. It says ego is the enemy. Let me, let me let you see it well. It says ego is the enemy. The fight to master our greatest opponents. People are taking the wrong channel to handle me. People are threatening me with death. People are following me. People are sending people. When the only thing you have to do is call me yourself and ask me, 
What have I done to you? If you have wronged me, you apologize to me. But if you won't apologize, don't worry. The universe will take its course. Mimi the mini to me I am powerless. I am powerless. I am powerless. But if you sit down and you don't reflect, Kwame, that's all. In your man, I'm no. Boxes be na face marks me. I don't know. But could be worse for the eyes. I have. I'm getting dark circles because I I I haven't had enough rest. People feel they are doing their best for me. They are showing me love. Do you know what I need right now? What I need right now is peace and quiet. I don't need unnecessary questions. I don't need you to ask me to apologize to anybody. Like, I need to rest. As for the hospital, I won't go today, I won't go tomorrow. Me and I'm here mental health advocates. But the hospital is not conducive enough for me. So it's either I stay in my house, eat my fruits, exercise. Even now, I'm even scared to go up the mountain. Because my life is in danger. I'm even scared to exercise. And going up the mountain is very therapeutic for me. But I'm not going to go up the mountain. But and I'm not going to say, and I'm not going to say, and I'm not going to say, and oh, a lot of things. Do you understand? Even if you people feel like, oh, me, eh, I am obedient in nature and I'm stubborn in nature. Kwame Pacho be so man. Mami sees this why. I am obedient and I am stubborn. Do you understand? Every human being is a combination of things. So back to what I intended to do. The what I did, I posted the WhatsApp conversation. And I promised the director of the cybercrime unit that I will educate people that it is a crime to do that. Oh my son. It is a crime to do that. So, because we are in Ghana and there are laws in Ghana, and he knows his rights, that he can file a case against me, and I agreed that I will do a life to... to... to say that... He was only doing his job, you know. Right now, I have my main line. I'm not the one who controls it. So he was just doing his job. Somebody had filed a case against me. So he was just doing his job. He had called and called. He wasn't getting in touch. So he sent a message. And the nature of his work, he works 24 hours. Security is needed 24 hours. So he can send me a message any time of the day. So those who feel I have slept with him, fortunately, I have not slept with him. Do you understand? Fortunately, I have not slept with him. And that man is such a respectable man. At least the side of him that he showed me, he's very respectable. He told me I should take care of myself. Because this is the second time I'm coming to him with the same problem. If I'm seeking medical advice and it's not working, I should sort it out spiritually. And yes, I am I am I am going the spiritual route too. Because I don't know my and yes, I have been having the same problems since 2015. You see? So the people that have been having the same problem with me, I am not the solution. No. I am not the only solution. Go on your knees, pray to God. If you need to change your ways, change your ways. Because whatever you do, you will get, you will get the implications. And out of respect for my family, for myself, 
now everything i post i won't allow people to comment instagram is an amazing tool people think i'm doing it for the likes i've turned off my likes i have turned off my comments i'm just i'm just defending myself because now i can't trust anybody not my mother nor my father nor my brother nor my friends you know people i call friends i thought are my friends i can't trust anybody because everybody has their own personal agenda you see everybody obian will be beer ne breakfast fever do you understand me i don't care if you have given me one million dollars before if you do something that hurts me i'm going to say it and it's likely to be in a manner that you do not like so those saying they are angry at me who for me for your pockets inside for your pockets inside i consume mommy before you know me here baby no obey oh father and for fun enough for me here me right now i don't have any friend if i have ever called you my friend you are not my friend we are all just human beings on earth my mother can disown me, my father can disown me, my brother can disown me. All my so-called F-R-I-E-N-D-S, you can disown me. If Christ be for me. Do you understand? If, even if, I don't understand, you even wonder if God is there. Because, God, if you are there, why are you allowing all these things to happen to me? So, whatever is there, like right now, uh, that's why that people are atheists because they have served God. God is not doing what they expect. In this world, people have expectations. When you don't go according to the expectations, you will face their wrath. So make sure when you are dealing with someone, when you are dealing with someone, make sure you show them your card. Make sure. You are true to your intention because some of us will operate on different levels there are people that will call us bipolar there are people that will call us preachers there are people that will call us gone women there are people that will call us mad women call us whatever you want you see somebody's purpose and destiny you can try and twist, turn, whatever. But if the person is true to her calling, if the person is true to herself, that person will always win. You will always feel threatened by that person. I'm nobody. You. I'm not the president of the land. I am not a minister. I am not a, a, a preacher. I am just Nanabna Kokwadu. I am just Lancy. Lancy on fire. That's just who I am. The people sending me messages, planning and plotting against the existing government. Me, I'm not a politician. Me, you cannot buy me with a car. You cannot buy me with a house. My mother, she's she's okay. She's okay. The little I can do for her, I do for her. But me, I'm into women in Briska. I don't envy people. A car will not give you happiness. A house will not give you happiness. Your actions, that is what will give you peace of mind. Do you understand? That is what will give you peace of mind. Okay, thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.